three. Welcome to Invoke. Today's show is Heroes and Heroes. So before we start, I want to do a little exercise, and I want you in the audience to do as well. Um, basically, what I want you to do is get a little envelope at the beginning of the show, and here you go. And give yourself a piece of paper, and I'm going to have our camera person do it as well. And I want everybody to grab a piece of paper, get your pens ready if you don't have one already. And since I already know the answers, I'm not going to put them down. But I would like you to write down, without letting the other person see, the three most important people in your life. The three most important people in your life. So I'll give you a couple seconds to think about that. So, heroes and heroes. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about three different types of heroes and heroes. I mean, particularly we're going to go in order. And the first thing we're going to talk about are superheroes. Then we're going to talk about well-known heroes. And then we're going to talk about personal heroes. I know there's differences in people's opinions on whether they're too violent or violent. But I know they exist. So before we go into that, to you and to the audience, a real superhero expert, my nephew, okay. who is a superhero in his own right. Oh. He's a three-sport athlete. Okay. Uh, he's a senior year to be a senior in high school. And a uh, 3.8 GPA. And I think he knows a little bit about superheroes. So let's go ahead and bring on board. We're going to change the set and let's talk to him. Okay. Here we are, and we have our special guest, Kyle Richter from Sunny Slope High School. Kyle, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Kyle Richter. I'm a three sport athlete from uh, Sunny Slope High School with the ball, wrestle, and play baseball. So, do you think your 3.8 GPA helps you in, in superhero expertness? Oh, it, help, it helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about superheroes. Um, my first superhero, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, and honestly, um, I had a hard time figuring out uh, which person or which icon was a superhero to me. I found that, in fact, for me, the superhero was Mickey Mouse, was um, look, Richie Rich. And they're not superheroes, but they were superheroes to me. So it took me a long time to figure it out, so I finally came up with one, and I think my superhero actually was... Speedy Gonzalez. Why you ask? Because honestly, he was friends to everyone's sister. Speedy Gonzalez was a whore. No, he wasn't a whore. He wasn't a whore. He just, he was, you know, he just needed to make sure every sister had a friend. He was a fast friend. A fast friend. Oh, what's your superhero? Now I have two. I have the fabulous Flash Gordon. Um, and my main man, the Green Lantern, and not because I own the Green House, but the <laughs> Green Lantern and Flash Gordon were so cool, and they had the best outfit. Well, I'm, I don't have the same kind of heroes. It's not that I'm anti-superhero, but I think that ordinary people can be superheroes, and, and really it seems to be extraordinary people doing, or ordinary people doing extraordinary things that people are most moved by. Uh, we see them in the news all the time, people who just out of nowhere do things that, that you just couldn't even imagine doing. So I, I uh, kind of support the ordinary person being a superhero. Okay, so now, um, Kyle, you're our, our superhero expert, and I know you came dressed appropriately for this, yep. so uh, can you share some of your superhero fabulousness? Uh, I have some socks right here, Superman, <laughs> and the uh, Batman shirt. So you have two, I think. Okay, anyway, why don't you tell us who your superhero is and what? Uh, my superhero is uh, Batman, as you can see in the all the way to the new ones, the dark ones. And uh, he's always going to be my superhero. I won't ever get tired of him. So you, you said, so you know the difference between the, the, the older, like, when we were kids and we had our superhero. Stop calling me old Mike. <laughs> <laughs> when we were a little bit more younger, okay, we, we in fact had superheroes and they were actually... So, so many things were unrealistic about them. Yeah. I mean, everything was unrealistic about it. And actually, that kind of kept it from reality, which is actually kind of cool, because I think a lot of times, when we were talking earlier about gun violence, violence in the schools, um, and this whole segment's about talking about superheroes and heroes, and perhaps, perhaps heroes are a solution to helping people not doing these things that you see happen, that are going crazy in the world. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the approach here is to understand that. So when I say that, I kind of looked back and I thought about this and I said, you know, when you were kids, these icons, they, just, they didn't make sense. Okay? Uh, so, Kyle, tell me about what you noticed. From that perspective, what do you think about the dark to the, to the not-so-dark? What's the difference to you from a, an observer and lover of superheroes? 
Well, personally, I think that I personally like the older ones, the, the Jack Nicholas versions, the Jim Carrey versions. I like those because those are more funny and and they kind of play. They're the original ones, and they kind of go along. And then the, the new ones, they're good, but they they're kind of too dark. They they push kids away, and it's more for adults and all that. And, not not more for the kids. More what is that? Tell me a little bit about um, some research that I had to do on gay superheroes. Well, I did do some three superheroes, and I found out that I have a list right here, and they're um, things like North Star and uh, Kyle Jenner. They they were they were a gay couple. They ended, actually ended up getting married in one of the comic books, and uh, they they had their own thing. But then there are um, different ones like Wolverine and Hercules, who that one just couldn't happen for any reason because one Wolverine is a DC and Hercules is a Marvel character, so those are completely two different universes, so they couldn't coexist at all. And then things like Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, those those possibly could have happened, but because Poison mm-hmm. Ivy has to kiss people to kill them, she might have had to kill Harley Quinn, so that might have gotten the... That's not very romantic. Yeah, <laughs> this is godly goop to me. I'm like, like I know you know this stuff, and I see it, but I don't pay much attention to it. So that's pretty good. Thank you for doing the research for us. Do you find it hard to stay?